Now you're welcome to the next episode, which is um, lettering. Now, your diagram need to be labeled. When you finish drawing a diagram, you just have to write the kind of diagram you've drawn. And you, there's a way you do that using your lettering. Now the key word here is, this is my title block, right? And I want to input the information in my title block. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to measure 2 millimeter away, or will I say 3 millimeter away from each horizontal line of the title block. Like now, let's take this for instance, I'm going to measure three, 2 millimeter away from this. This is 0, this is 1, and this is 2, right? 0, 1, 2. At this point here. From here also, we have 0, where I'm starting from is 0, 1, 2. That is 2 millimeter. I will now use my C square, my T square. Instead of me measuring here again, I'll just use my T square, move it on the, at the edge of my drawing board. To that point right i can put it this way to this point and i'll draw a line this way horizontal line it should be faint the next one is this i'll come again i'll do the same thing you can see that this is where i am going to write what i want to write here so if I decide I can write University of Ilorin, that should be my institution, or I can say Harvard University, or I will say Oxford University, depending on what I want to write here, or I put Yerba College of Technology. So it depends on what you want to choose, right? Now let me put this to be, the name of my institution should be Mindset Academy. So this is how I write my M, where I write my I, then the N, the D, mind, set, academy. You can see that depend on your institution now the next thing i'm going to do i want to come here and write other things to file the the aim of this line is that your letters should not touch the outline here so you're going to measure a faint line two millimeter away from the main line here so if i come here also i'll do the same thing i'm going to measure two millimeter away from here this is zero this one two I'll come here also from one here. This is zero, the one is zero, then one, two. Whatever I'm starting from will be zero. So once I've done that, I'll come again, move my T square to that point, draw an horizontal line, go to the next one also, I'll draw another line. Now I cannot decide to write the faculty. Probably I put in the faculty or put in the school depending on what you want to put there so I put the faculty should be school of engineering right so it can be what school of what engineering or engineering department is that the king or faculty of engineering I'll just put in engineering here to so depend or you can decide to put depend on what you want to do so this is what we have here this is how you write it that is what engineering now if it is a polytechnic and you put what you write here will be school and that will be what 
school that will be what the department will be engineering the school will be what um industrial and manufacturing engineering so depending on what you want to put there so it depends now the next one will be you do the same thing for your matric number position number your title and so on and so forth is that again so this is what i mean here we come here also i'll measure again from zero i'll count one two this is it you can start again from one upward this is the one will come zero so we'll start from the next one one two then i'll roll another line again this way so whatever you want to do so i can decide to put the department or better still i can put the department right in it this way the department right i can put the name i can try to do the same thing measure another point again from here zero one two from one zero one two then i can put the name which is your name the same thing here so the name should be depending on the name you want to put so this is if i should put the name right so your name can be inspector gadget depending on what your name is Inspector Gadget. Are you with me? So, depend on what you want, or Inspector Guard. Mm -hmm. So, and so on and so forth. You continue, you can put the scale, the title, the date, the drawing number, and so on and so forth. This is how you do your title block, depending on the lecturer, the supervisor, the institution, or your teacher's specification. It varies from each faculties, it varies from each department. Now, you might be told to write alphabets. Maybe alphabets from A to Z or 1 to 2 or 3, right? So what you do is you follow the same principle that you used for your title block. Now I'll take my um, T-square. I am going to draw an horizontal line this way. Ensure that your lines, the aim of the borderline is not to, is just to uh, uh, make your drawing uniform and your drawing to be well positioned. So I'll draw a line, the line must not touch my border line, and I'll take my T-square and I'll place it on my C-square, the aim is just for me to draw a vertical line, faint line, to guide me. So on that line, I can try to, since I'll use 10 millimeter each, depend on your lecturer specification, so if it might tell you it wants 20 millimeter. It might tell you one thirty millimeter depend, but for the benefit of this video, I was using ten millimeter each. So this is zero to one is ten. One to two is another ten. Two to three is another ten. Three to four is another ten. Four to five is another ten depends. Now I'm going to I want it to end here at this distance here. So I'm going to rule my line from here. I'll thicken it. From here also, 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 I'll thicken it. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to take half of each of this line. Half of ten is what is five. So. That is for a beginner half of 10 is 5 so from 0 to 1 is 5 this is a 5 here 
from one to two is another five from two to three is another five from this is a, i'm not taking the midpoint of those um measurement i'll take my metal rule i'll draw another faint line this way from the center faint line Faint line, faint line. You can see that. Now the next thing is for these two points here. Let's see. This is point one and point two. So between point one and point two, from point one, I'm going to measure just like I did here. I measure two millimeter away from that point. This zero is one two. From here also, from one upward is zero. Where I'm starting from is zero is one two. So I'll now take my C square to that point, and I'll draw this this way, and I'll come here. So I'm going to draw this this way. You can see that. So what I'm going to do here is I'll start from A. So this is A here from here to here. A. Right, the next one will be what B. The next one will be what C. Then we have what D. We have E. We have F. We have G. We have H. I everything should be in uppercase letter. We have J. This is K. This is L. This should be M. N. Right. So we'll continue the next one from that same point again from two. If this is two, I'll say here should be what three. So between two and three, I'll do the same thing. One point two. I'm going to measure two millimeter. This is zero from zero. One two. I'll mark from one. I'll measure this is zero. In fact, the next will be one two. So I'll do the same thing here. And the same thing here too. So this is L M N. I'll do for the O here. This will be P. This will be Q. R. S. T. U. V. W X Y then Z. So it depends. And if I want to do my my numbering, my numeric, what I'll do, I'll do the same thing. Let's say this is point three and this is what point four. So between point three and four, that is the outline I measured. Of this sentence, zero one two come again zero one two and i'll draw the same line so this is what we have come here also this is what we have you can see that that's how we'll start by measuring so here will become um let's say this is one this is two this is three. This is four. This is five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And so on and so forth.
So this is how you do your lettering. Now let's now assume we are told to write a statement. Let's say the quick brown fox jump over the lazy dog. Let's write a statement here or write a sentence. So let's say that from we are told to write a sentence. This is from zero to here. This is one, two, right? Yeah, also zero, one, two. I'll do the same thing. Come again, I'll do the same thing. Let's see. Come to do that, this will now become T. This is the quick. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog so this is how you write that in upper case so if you have found this video helpful please don't forget to click on the subscribe button thanks for watching